Is Doctor Who repeating itself? The short answer is no. The long answer, still no, but leaning slightly towards maybe, as there are some rather strange coincidences. Never ignore a coincidence, unless you're busy, in which case always ignore a coincidence. Well, I'm not busy, so here we go. Starting off with the least convincing and most convoluted evidence, as the first Doctor and the ninth Doctor regenerated as their appearance was wearing a bit thin. Now it gets a bit messy as I'm going all wibbly wobbly here, but the second and eighth Doctors share just one similarity. They were forced into regenerating, but they were offered multiple options on what they would like to be like before the change actually happened. Now I know the 8th Doctor isn't technically a new Who Doctor, but he shares a lot of the same characteristics, and out of his two live action appearances, the only one that was actually filmed during the show's production was in the new Who era. So now the more questionable evidence is out of the way, let's move on to something that may actually make you believe the theory. The 3rd and 10th Doctor shared quite a bit in common. Most of their stories were set on Earth, with roughly a third of them happening off the planet. In their first episode, they went up against the Nestine and the Autons. The next villain featured with previous appearances on the show were the Daleks. They didn't come face to face with the Cybermen, but both Doctors had episodes in which they made cameos. The first person to travel through time and space with the third Doctor was Joe Grant a young, attractive, wide-eyed, 19-year-old woman. The first person to travel through time and space with the 10th Doctor was Rose Tyler, a young, attractive, wide-eyed, 19-year-old woman. And both Doctors' regeneration sequences were witnessed by a companion who would continue travelling with the next incarnation of the Doctor, but only for the next 13 stories. Next up is arguably the most popular Doctor from each era, the 4th and 11th slash 12th Doctors. Tom Baker played the role for seven years, making him the longest serving live action Doctor of the classic era, whilst David Tennant played the role for five years, making him the longest serving live action Doctor of New Who. The 4th Doctor introduced fans to Davros and K9, whilst the 10th Doctor reintroduced Davros and K9 to a new generation of fans. The Cybermen returned within the first series of each Doctor. Both Doctors had stories that reintroduced the Master, who changes his appearance and is connected to the Doctor's regeneration. Then we have the 5th and 13th Doctors. Both were played by actors who were the youngest of their eras. Both incarnations lasted for only three years. Both had a feisty, no-nonsense female companion who just happened to have somewhat of a thick accent. Both had an anniversary special where an actor who once played the Doctor didn't return, but still made an appearance thanks to stock footage. Next up are the 6th and 14th Doctors. Their personalities can be summed up in one word. Rude. Sure, you could say the first Doctor could be labelled as rude, but there was always a mischievous side to his character whereas the 6th Doctor was arrogant and the 14th Doctor suffered from unfunny comedic writing. Another trait I've noticed with both Doctors is their need to relentlessly insult their companions. The 6th Doctor's second series had him relive and own up to his past mistakes via a trial, whilst the 14th Doctor's second series had him relive and own up to his past mistakes via a confessional dial. The Sixth Doctor was forced into his trial after Perry was supposedly killed, only she survived. The Fourteenth Doctor was forced into his dial after Clara was killed, but somehow she survived. Both Doctors had episodes that introduced a female Time Lord. After their first companions left, they were quickly replaced by a frizzy-haired optimist. Both Colin Baker and Peter Capaldi's time as the Doctor was shortened when the show was put on hiatus. And finally, each Doctor had an episode where they teamed up with a previous Doctor. So if you were to believe there was some sort of connection, what kind of predictions can be made? Well, just like the 7th Doctor, the 15th Doctor will have a shaky first series, but would slowly improve over the next two series. 
The show would celebrate its 55th year with a story involving the Daleks, much like it did during its 25th year. The show would be cancelled in 2019, but it would briefly come back for a Children in Need special in 2023, which would feature all the surviving Doctors and Companions, but Christopher Eccleston would only return in front of a green screen, which in post-production would have some seriously dodgy effects applied to it. Is Custom Who repeating itself? Yes. Yes it is.